Consul of Israel to New England, Ronit Noodleman Pearl, has been with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs since 1994. After finishing her Israel Defense Forces military service in combat and field engineering, she attended Hebrew University. During her time at the ministry, Ronit worked closely with Moshav, Israel's Agency for International Development and Cooperation. She recently oversaw the training and computerization at the ministry, and we're very gracious to have Ronit join us from the Boston Consulate right now. Thank you, Ronit. Thank you all for coming here today. It is so heartwarming to see you all come out in support of Israel. This week saw two news stories coming out of Israel. The first, hundreds of thousands of Israelis using their democratic rights in creative uh, protest movements, and the second, Palestinian terrorists infiltrating Israel's southern borders murdering eight people and shooting rockets into our synagogues. We stay true to the founding democratic principles of our Declaration of Independence and we will also defend ourselves against enemies dedicated to our destruction. September is an important month for Israel. Palestinian unilateralism at the United Nations and Durban III. United States has pledged to veto Palestinian unilateral moves at the UN and has boycotted Durban III alongside Israel. September is also an important month for America as we commemorate the 10th anniversary of the tragedy that occurred on September 11. Remember that Israel stands by you and will always stand by you in your fight against terrorism as you have stood by us. Israel is an island of stability among the unrest in the Middle East. Do not be fooled by those who compared the Israeli summer with the Arab Spring. Israel's peaceful protests are a statement to our democratic values like the Tea Party protest across America and the Labour protest in, the, in Wisconsin. We protest and vote for social change. We do not overthrow governments and we do not need to fear for our lives when we gathered in the streets of Tel Aviv or Jerusalem to voice our opinions. We cannot thank the people of America and their representative in Congress enough. Last week, 81 Democrats and Republicans flew to Israel to show their support, their dedication to the security and friendship of their greatest ally, Israel. It is because of their and your support through the good and bad times that Israel is and always will be the greatest friend and ally of the United States of America. Our shared values and commitment to democracy and freedom bind us now and forever. I think the proof of our friendship is right here in Manchester in rallies like this. Thank you so much. Thank you.